We can now do a special case of the thin lens object at infinity. So if we draw our optical axis and our thin lens like that, and if our object is at infinity, then all the rays are essentially going to come in um, parallel. And therefore, they're going to focus all to the same point, like that. So if we look at the lens equation and see what's happening, remember it was n1 over the object distance, which is infinity, plus n1 over the Im image distance, which is n2 minus n1 over 1 over r1 minus r2, if r1 is the front um, curvature. Yeah. So in this case, if we put infinity here, then of course this term is gone. Right? And therefore, this term must equal um, this term. But these are all properties of the lens. So this is a special condition that this distance must also be a property of the lens. And this is what we call the focal length. So if we now turn it around a little bit, we get that 1 over SI, the image distance, the position where it sticks parallel light. I'm going to pull this N1 under here, and it must be equal to N2 minus N1 over N1 times 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2. This is called the lens maker's equation. When you say it's equal to, we don't really call it the object distance anymore, we call it the focal length. Right. So this is the lens maker's equation. And the focal length just being the special image distance you get when the rays are parallel. That's really the only special case you can come up with. So the focal length is often how we define sort of the focusing power of a lens. Does it take parallel rays and focus them really close to its surface? That would be a strongly focusing lens. Does it take parallel rays and focus them really far from its surface? That would be a weakly focusing lens. So many properties of the lens are important, especially when you get into aberrations and, and how, when they, they're imperfect behavior. But the focal length is definitely sort of the most fundamental property of the lens. So I want to show you real quickly how you can measure it. So one way to measure it would be to set up an optical system and have an object over here and a lens and an image and measure the image and measure all the distances. There's a quicker way. So here is a simple uh, thin lens. It's spherical on both sides. It's thin compared to its radius and compared to all the distances. And the quick way is you just hold it under a light and you see how far it takes to get an image of the light on the surface. And the light bulb, basically the light that you're going to make an image of, is essentially at infinity. All the rays of the light that are finally getting to the lens are essentially parallel. And once they focus to a point, and the point will kind of be an image of the light, how high you're holding it will be the focal length. So let's give it a shot. So I get the lens right under the light and bring it down. And you can see light start to focus. And right at the perfect spot, we get an image of that light. And the light's not really at infinity. And it's not really making a point, but it's making an image. And now what you can do is take a ruler. And you can kind of measure the distance like that. So you get that this is about a 26 centimeter focal length lens.